Welcome. If you're ready to dive into this course, I'm willing to bet that you either A, have recently started a leather project and gotten frustrated with the leather you chose, or B, want to start creating leather goods and just have no clue where to begin. Wherever you are, I can relate. I'm Megan Leinbaugh. And several years ago, when I started experimenting with leather, I got super overwhelmed. Now, I love learning new things, but I also became quickly frustrated with the lack of available resources for newbie leather enthusiasts. I mean, how are you supposed to learn this stuff when nobody's teaching it? It's not like you can just run down to the local college or university. I mean, most of them don't even have courses on leather work. Even online, the information is few and far between, and what I did find was confusing and really difficult to apply. So after asking a ton of questions and through lots of trial and error, I spent countless hours and thousands of dollars learning the foundations of leatherwork. And along the way, I took notes of all the lessons I learned and all the important stuff that I wish someone would have told me. Now trust me, when I first started out, if I had known what you're about to learn, it would have saved me so much time and a ton of money, like a lot of money. <laughs> For me, the initial learning curve was pretty steep, but I didn't give up. What started out as a simple DIY project, learning to make name tags for my dogs has turned into a full-time leather business. Now, whether your goal is to make a few leather goods for yourself or someday make leather work a full-time career, you have to start with the basics. And every leather work project has one thing in common, leather. Now in this course, you'll learn what leather is and what it isn't, the main tannage types and the most common categories of leather. Now we'll then move on to the parts of the hide and which parts are best suited to your various projects. In model, or module three, we dive into the numbers and I'll show you how leather is measured and how to calculate the amount of leather you'll need for your projects. Now in module four, then we work through how to select the best leather for your project, and I'll give you some pointers on picking the right hide just for your needs. We then bring it all home in module five, where I provide you a list of leather suppliers, questions that you should ask when purchasing your leather, and I give you some tips for storing that new leather. Now, in addition to the video lessons, this course has five accompanying documents that you should print out. The first one is the Leather Buying Guide Cheat Sheet. Now, this is super important and you'll need it for almost, almost every module. You'll find it under module one. The second is the Parts of the Hide Diagram. It will be available to you in module two. Third, we have the Weight and Thickness Chart and that will come your way in module three. And finally, the leather vendor list and the cost comparison worksheet will be available in module five. Now here, we don't do homework. We do leather work. So after almost each module, I will give you a leather work assignment related to the information that you just learned. Now make sure you complete your leather work assignment before moving on to the next module. I'm not kidding. Do that leather work. Now, if you've jumped ahead and you notice that you currently don't have access to all the modules, no worries, that's intentional. It's vital that we move through this information in order. Trust me. So to keep us on track, each day a new module will be available to you. Now today, go ahead and tackle module one, then complete your leather work assignment. Tomorrow, you'll see that module two will be available to you, and then module three the following day, and then get it? In five short days, you will have completed this course and be armed with the necessary knowledge to purchase leather with confidence. But Megan, my kids have a soccer game tomorrow and I don't think I can do a module that day. Or what if I'm a slow learner? Or what if I have an emergency and I can't finish all the lessons in five days? I mean, what am I supposed to? Slow down. Deep breath. Exhale. It's okay. You don't have to finish everything in five days. In fact, even if you do, I encourage you to come back and review the content as much as you need because good news, you have lifetime access to this course. So there's no hurry, take your time. But I do recommend making consistent progress. One thing you'll learn about leather work, it's a process and you never 
fully arrive. You'll always be learning, always be improving your skills. But the more consistent that you are with the work, the more quicker you'll see your skills develop. So let's get started. I'll see you in module one.